Our fourth reading today is Matthew 11, 16 through 19 and 25 through 30. But to what will I compare this generation? It is, it is like children sitting in the marketplaces and calling to one another. We played the flute for you and you did not dance. We wailed and you did not mourn. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they say he has a demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they say, Look, a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. Yet wisdom is vindicated by her deeds. At that time, Jesus said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and the intelligent and have revealed them to infants. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all you who are weary and carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, For I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Friends, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, who here is tired today? Nice, cloudy, rainy morning. Good time to sleep, right? Those who are weary have come to the right place. How do you know? You don't know how I feel. You don't know what I've been through. You don't know anything. I know that one is right. That I do know. That I do not know. But the Lord our God, who gave us these words, I will give you rest does know what is wearing you down, what has got you so weary. He knows, he cares, and he is the yoke. And may he make the burden light. These peace-calming words have come at just the right time for myself and maybe for you. I feel like the Lord spoke right to me with his scriptures and his teachings this week. He always does But these words, this week, this past year, this past three years, it can just be so much, too much it seems, but then God appears and all is calm. All is bright again. May God shine his light on all of us. Thanks be to God. I am sure many are physically and mentally weary this weekend. We have been in full swing with our vacation Bible school. We welcome some of the children that joined us this week that are here today. Many with their families, friends, and the teachers. We are so grateful for our time with these children and sharing the love of Christ with them. The Lord has surely led us this week and beyond, right out of this galaxy, you could say. And God continues to teach all of us, both children and children and adults. What is he teaching you? How do you feel God is working in your life? Are you listening? Are you abiding in his love? Are you praying? Or are you just too weary for life, for God? As I mentioned earlier, you are in the right place. Worshiping God is the best way to a clearer mind and a restful soul, and a path to new life through him, through his love, through his guidance. But first, we must learn to follow, learn to seek him, learn to launch ourselves into King God's kingdom, leaving our past behind, following him to our destiny. It felt as though VBS was part of all of our destinies this week. There were so many volunteers and teachers and lovers of Christ. The love was palpable. The children singing and the children praying. The three main themes 
when life feels dark. I knew it. I knew somebody would do it. When people don't get along, it's there. And finally, when people are sad, shine Jesus' light. That's right. And the kids were asked what they were thankful for, with many responses from cousins and families to earth and food. I added the food. Kids know things. They know that love matters. They showed their love for Christ, that is for sure. We have witnessed it here this morning. And if you were around, one could not help but feel and see Christ working his way into these young people's minds and hearts. Christ has been leading us for a long time now. Life is so much easier when he is in control. His passion and his compassion are all we need in this life. Finding the light when darkness seems to take over can all but paralyze our souls. But if we look and we seek, the light will finally come through, and usually just in time. So today's sermon is those who are weary, but I promise you, it is I that am weary. I am the weary one. Those who are weary was me. I am so weary, at least I was, I felt weary, I felt alone, I felt like time was standing still, I felt stuck, stuck in life, stuck in a funk, and it couldn't possibly get worse, right? But I saw the light, the light coming from all this, from the small stained glass window in our social hall below us now. Only in the perfect time during the evening can the light from the sun shine through that window. And I walked into its path as I was the last to leave the church after the first night of VBS. I took a moment. I'm kind of embarrassed to admit it, but I took a selfie. Showing the shadow that I was creating by walking into the light. It was a moment. I knew it meant something. We've all been there. Seeing the light always seems to mean something. And after the next morning, I knew why he had strengthened me in that moment. Why he had shined Jesus' light on me. For I was about to lose a dear friend of mine. Man's best friend. Our little dog, Buster. You didn't think you'd see somebody cry about a dog today, did you? But for you dog lovers, you get it. And the rest, I can assure you, understand losing a family member. As devastating as it was, there were lights up ahead. There was Jesus' light shining right on our family through it all. Do we go to VBS? Can we pull it together long enough to fake it for the kids and the teachers? Could we possibly make it through? Friends, the answer was yes. Yes, we could go to VBS. Yes, we would fake it if we needed to. But as many of you know, I struggle with faking it. I tend to show my emotions. I wear my feelings on my sleeve. I'm proud to say that I have passed it on to my children. We have emotions. We have ups. We have downs. But we have Jesus Christ to lead us through all the valleys of life. When life feels dark... When people don't get along, when people are sad, just bring children into your church. Shine Jesus' light. And they did. The children, the volunteers, the teachers, the parents, everyone involved with VBS showed the light of Christ. The children singing, the children praying. The children giving thanks for all the wonderful things in their lives, including family. Now that is Christ's light shining for all of us. Many of us struggle with the darkness, the not getting along, the sadness of this world. But we have hope in God. Hope that he will always come shining through in our lives right when we need him to be. Shining Jesus' light on our hearts, our minds, and our souls giving us the strength that all will be all right. Just keep the faith. Keep the light on for Christ's sake and for the sake of your eternal peace. 
God promises us that when we are weary, when we feel like we cannot go on for whatever reason, that he can carry all our burdens. Come to me, all you who are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Matthew eleven twenty eight. 28. And so, for anyone out there who feels the darkness and they cannot seem to find the light, give in. Give in to what Christ is telling you to do. Go to church. Start teaching Sunday school. Start a new VBS. Begin a micro pantry. Give out books. Give out the Bible. Look out for one another. Love one another. Look to help others. Pray for each other. Shine Jesus' light on everyone in your life because God knows we all need it. Those who are weary, God is shining for you. He is calling for you. He loves you. He can heal you. He can change you. God can give you new life in this life and beyond. Let his yoke be on you and clear the way for the light to shine through your window, your life, and let God shine Jesus' light on you. Let us pray. Dear God, we come to you with heavy hearts, blinding pain, and worry that we cannot seem to fix on our own. Please, Lord, help us to always look for your light in our lives. Help us to not only live in your light, but shine Jesus' light on others. Lord, help us to give your love to others as you have given to us. Help us to remember all that you have done in our lives and not forget that no matter how dark and sad our lives can be, that your light can heal all that troubles us in this life. And may we follow that light, your light, throughout our lives, forever and ever. Amen.